do what? It is an early morning around here. It's about seven o'clock right now, but I actually woke up at 6.30 because today is our 20 week anatomy scan, which is a pretty big appointment when you're pregnant. You get to see a lot of the baby. It's definitely a longer ultrasound and we have that at nine o'clock this morning. So pretty early morning for us. I've just been having a slow morning. I wanted to wake up plenty early enough so I could just have a slow morning, do my devotionals, hang out with Mr. Cash. I'm about to take him for a little walk. It's so hot these days that I have to take him pretty much right when I wake up and then right before we go to bed because that's the coolest time of the day. Just wanted to check in before we get this vlog going. I just made myself breakfast. I have basically been eating right when I wake up in the morning these days as in eating my full breakfast right when I wake up. Ever since my first trimester being nauseous, I just got in the habit of that and now my body is just hungry right when I wake up, which I know is better for me. So I'm happy that my body has adjusted to that. Last night, Ian and I stayed up late. I don't know why we stayed up late before we had this early appointment, but we hung up a bunch of art around the house. And so I'll definitely give you guys a little tour of everything that we put up because it looks so much better now. We had just gotten all these paintings from Aiden's dad. So nice because basically our entire house is artwork from him. It's nice having original art and it's so beautiful. So I'll definitely show you guys when we get back. Just changed. I'm wearing this top that is from Amazon. And then the skirt is from Brandy Melville, but I always try to link a similar one because I can never link stuff from Brandy Melville. I just changed into this little bodysuit. This is from Amazon. This one is a maternity piece and it is so comfortable. But honestly, I would wear this even if I wasn't pregnant because it's just longer than a normal one. And sometimes bodysuits can really ride up and just be really short. But this one is super comfy. Our appointment went really well today. I'll share everything that they did because I think that this is nice to hear, especially if you are also pregnant and you are looking forward to this appointment. I know everyone's is different. Mine was pretty chill. Essentially, we just went in and did the sonogram. I didn't take any clips of that or anything. I always forget to. I always want to tell Aiden to record, but that was probably a probably 20 minute scan that they did. They were able to see most things, but unfortunately he was not cooperating. It's so funny because every time I lay down or sit down, he's always flipping about and going crazy. And a lot of people told me, you know, don't drink caffeine. I did drink coffee, but don't drink anything sugary because then they're moving around too much to where you can't see anything. But he was just straight chilling and did not want to move so they didn't get one of the angles that they wanted to get of the heart so i'm going to go back in a few weeks and have that done so a little bit unfortunate but i had heard that that's very normal a lot of people have had that happen but everything that they did see looked totally normal and healthy it was so crazy actually seeing the heart though the angle that they could see you can really see so much even at 20 weeks that i am right now and then afterwards i had my normal appointment which everything has been good. I have felt great. I haven't had any, you know, things that I felt like I needed to talk about. Our next appointment is going to be my glucose test, which I've heard a lot about. Thankfully, I get to do, I believe it's called the fresh start test. I could be saying that wrong. They said I could do just the normal drink that you have to take, or I can do that one. And I think that one's supposed to be a little bit more natural per se. And so I'm going to try to do that one. We'll see how that goes. That's my next appointment in a month or so. We got some great ultrasound photos too. He had one really cute little profile one with his little nose it was so adorable but so thankful that everything went well i'm always so thankful when everything comes back healthy and everything i wanted to share some of the things that i've gotten for myself and then also for baby as i start prepping and planning for labor and delivery a lot of those things are really fun like buying the baby clothes the nursery furniture all that jazz but a lot of things especially when it comes to postpartum care are not necessarily the most fun to purchase but are so important to have during that time i'd be really interested to hear if you guys have any essentials that you were really thankful you had on hand as it relates to postpartum recovery and care. I know I'm still far off from that, but I am starting to stock up. And one of the things that 
I know it's very important to have, especially for those early days, are some sort of underwear when you just have a lot going on down there, which is why I'm so thankful to be partnering with Fit Right Fresh Start on today's video. When they reached out, I thought there is no better time to share them because I know that this is something that many of my sisters and friends have shared as it relates to postpartum recovery, that a lot of that stuff is not so glamorous, but it is really helpful to have. You don't necessarily hear about bladder incontinence and bladder leaks very often, but it is something that is so common. I mean, nearly two Two thirds of women will struggle with this at some point in their lifetime. And I really appreciate that Fit Right Fresh Star is opening up the conversation. And yeah, I'm really excited to just share about my own personal journey when it comes to postpartum and everything, because I think that it's something that can be so taboo that people don't really talk about, especially during a first pregnancy. They say that one in three women can expect to experience some sort of temporary strengths incontinence. I just got the black one. I got a size medium. I'm not sure what size I'm going to be at the time after I give birth and everything and what's great about these specifically is that they're made with odor reducing arm and hammer baking soda and vitamin e to keep you dry and also fresh these are also super breathable they're a comfortable fit which i know i'm really going to appreciate during that time i'll have a link at the top of the description box if you are also looking to stock up right now i also have 20 percent off at that link it'll automatically apply at checkouts through amazon so it's super easy yeah i think that this is something that's easy to overlook when you're buying all of the fun things for your baby and for yourself but this is something that I just really want to have on hand ready because it's important to be as comfortable as possible especially during that time for dinner tonight I really want to do some slow cooker tacos because anytime you do tacos slow cooker meat is just so much better and so I'm trying a recipe I've never tried this one before it's from give me some oven I love the recipes that I've tried from that website before but this one seems pretty simple. I just got some beef that I'm gonna use and I believe you just sear it in the skillet and then slow cook it in your crock pot. So crock pot recipes are always so nice too because then you don't have to think about dinner when it actually is dinner time. Also wanted to share the artwork that we hung up because we went to town last night, like I had mentioned. This one we put above the couch because this is the biggest one that we have, but I love how that one looks. We also put this one over here. Both of these are of Watch Hill, which is where we always visit in Rhode Island. And Aiden's dad did most of the artwork that I'm showing you guys. Right here through this hallway, we have this print. This one is of Avondale in Rhode Island. And then this one right here, I believe is of Boston. I think it's Back Bay. I think those look nice there. I don't know, I forgot the artist who did this one, but this one is also of Watch Hill, Rhode Island. So we just put this one in the kitchen. We left our hanging stuff out because we're gonna hang up some mirrors too. We're pretty sure we're gonna do this one right here, but this room is still a work in progress. This is our front room. So we just set that there for now. I also wanted to share some of the clothes that I've picked up recently because I placed an H&M order a kite baby order and then also just some things from a store called mini ollie let me know if you care about this i know not everyone does i timestamp my videos so you can always skip over this if you don't care i'm not offended don't worry i get that this is just not interesting for everyone but i have gotten a few dms asking me to share hauls and i've just been doing it gradually i definitely think when we have our baby shower and we start getting registry things i'll do a whole video on that but in the meantime i'm just going to sprinkle this into vlogs i have heard that these kite babies sleepers are just the best. Essentially, they're just really soft bamboo sleepers. And a lot of people have said that these are great. So I picked up a few, they are kind of pricey, but I did find one that's very similar that I'll share from Amazon. I got some of these and I know many moms have told me that zips are really, really handy to have, especially zips that go both ways. And so I have a pretty green one. This is a newborn size. This one is also a newborn size, which I know they grow out of very quickly, but I'm not sure how big he's gonna be. So I just wanted to have these in case I'll give them away if he happens to be too big for these immediately this one is zero to three months but this one is from Amazon I believe it's half the price it's from the brand Gisby it's pretty much the exact same design and it's also nice because footies that you can fold over but you can also not use them so they can wear them longer because I've heard that footy sleepers of course are nice to have whenever they are sleeping but they grow out of them quicker so these might even be a better option from Etsy I got this really cute little bear beanie I also picked up this 
little sweater. This is just a newborn sweater that I think is cute, but he can wear this for a long time. This is probably way too big for a newborn too. And then for mini Ollie, I don't know how I found this website, but they have really, really cute baby clothes. We have these PJs. This one is so cute. I got this for the summertime when he's bigger, but it has little bears on it, this little romper. Again, I know snaps are not practical, but I'm a first time mom and I wanna have cute outfits too. And I'm also getting the practical stuff. So just let me have fun. This one I also think is super cute. Love the bear on this one. How cute. I ordered these two with my own money too. And then my H&M stuff doesn't seem to be in here. So I'm gonna go grab it. I ordered this all when they had a sale. I'm not sure if things are still on sale right now. We picked up this hooded towel. I really am into the bear stuff. I think the bear theme is super cute we have some anti-slip socks another pair of socks this outfit is for when he's older but i just thought it was so cute it's this little terry cloth set a pack of these little crew necks i really like these colors too i think they're pretty another little striped romper little knit sweater romper this is what actually triggered the order because my friend carissa sent me this and just said it was so cute this little sailor outfit how adorable. I'm really into the nautical stuff, so love it. Sweatpants that go with those crew necks. And lastly, just this little set that has a little hat on it. Yeah, I've definitely made a dent in all my clothes shopping. I think anything else I buy will mostly be from a resale shop if I need anything. And it'll probably just be more of these little sleepers because I've heard that these are the best to have. Definitely have quite the collection of clothes now. Just had a nice rest and now I'm about to tidy up the place a little bit. I'm just gonna run the vacuum put some dishes away because my friends are coming over in about an hour and then i'll probably start on not start dinner's basically done but do all my toppings and everything i'll set those out for dinner tonight <laughs> Here is our taco setup. I made just a little chopped salad. I actually ended up, instead of doing tortillas, I'm just making a little taco salad with the beef and everything. Set out our toppings. And here we have the beef. It's definitely not my favorite. It wasn't as tender as I liked. I probably should have cooked it a little bit longer on low. I just did high for the last hour so it'd be done quicker because I was hungry, but Aiden's at the gym and I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this. Good morning, it is Thursday morning. I'm headed to the gym. I have a little bit of a slower start to the day because I had a pretty long quiet time this morning. Something I am trying to focus on right now is actually memorizing scripture. And this is something that I feel like is good to do regardless. It's you know powerful to read the Bible, but it's even more powerful to have those verses kind of in your toolbox if you're ever dealing with something where you need them. Especially with having our baby, that's something that my parents always just kind of spoke over me were different psalms and verses. And I do think that it actually takes a lot of discipline to memorize scripture. And so it's kind of kicked my butt in gear and I was trying to work on reciting a psalm, which also made me think, I found this playlist of really great hymns. I'll link down below. I definitely prefer listening to hymns for worship. I just find that there's so much power in words that have been around for a very long time in the simplicity of worship. Of course, I think everyone relates to God in a different way through worship, but for me, I just really, really love soft kind of simple hymns and so i'll link that down below if you guys are interested i was also listening to that on my walk with cash headed to the gym i'm gonna try to run this morning i have a couple of videos in my subscription box which always makes it easier to run so we're gonna do that come home and i'll fill you guys in on the rest of the day but let's get this workout in also if i look tired it is because i am a little bit tired this morning after my friends left and aiden came home we stayed up for like an hour just talking which is always really nice but i I just have not caught up on sleep i keep getting just six to seven hours which i know you know coming soon i'm gonna appreciate this time of getting six to seven hours but i need a good eight hour sleep night so hopefully that'll be tonight i'm excited next week too because i'm visiting my grandparents and i do plan on trying to catch up on sleep there too so out of the gym i ended up doing 20 minutes 12 3 30 and then just running one mile because I've started getting just mild 
cramps every now and then that just feel very similar to period cramps. I asked my midwife during my appointment if that was normal and she said it's totally normal. I never really had them during the first trimester or anything, but just right now I think my uterus and I'm getting that round ligament pain, everything's just stretching. And so I have been getting those in the morning time especially. And so I just took it a little bit easier and wasn't really feeling like running three miles, which is what I normally do. And then I did a 20 minute Sydney Cummings arm workout, which felt really good. So overall, a really great workout. Like I've mentioned, I am trying to stick to some sort of fitness routine in terms of just getting movement every day, but I am definitely modifying and listening to my body. And if something just doesn't feel right, which a lot of stuff has started to feel a little bit different in terms of just feeling more pressure and just kind of having to switch things up a little bit more. But a lot of things I can still continue to do. And of course I think everyone's pregnancy is different, but today was one of those days where I just decided we are not gonna push ourselves too, too much. Also just have to say that these peonies are so beautiful. Every time I get these from Trader Joe's, if you just get some that haven't completely opened up yet, they turn into the most just dreamy flowers. They're so gorgeous. And I've had these for about a week now and they're still looking really good. I just finished getting ready for the day. I am recording a QA and a today. So I just wanted to get a little bit more put together. I haven't waved my hair like this in so long. It's such a fun summer hairstyle. This little crop top that I'm wearing is actually part of a set that I love. I'm not wearing the skirt with it. It comes with the skirt, but I'm saving that because A and I are actually going on a little baby moon in a few weeks that I cannot wait for. I'm gonna do a maternity photo shoot there and I got this outfit and I can't wait to wear it because it is just so, so precious for, especially whenever my bump's gonna be a little bit bigger down the road. So I just threw that on and then these pants are from Petal and Pup. They really make me look pregnant when I wear these. Anytime I wear pants especially, it just really, makes me feel very pregnant, but. I am so excited because my birthday is actually on Saturday. I'm gonna be turning 25, which is exciting, but this year I just really don't care at all about my birthday. I find that the older I get, I'm not someone who loves like a whole birthday celebration or anything. Adam is so sweet because he booked us a dinner tonight. We're gonna to go to Drake's, which is one of our favorite Dallas restaurants. If you're visiting Dallas, it is such a vibe. It's so much fun. The food is so great. I'm gonna be on a flight. I'm going to Ohio to visit my grandparents and he is staying back. It's my family trip, but not everyone in my family. My family's huge if you don't know. So it's always like whoever can come can come it ended up being mostly girls this trip so it's gonna be a ton of fun i'm also excited my brother's coming in town i don't see him very often but aiden just didn't have that much time off with just going on our other trip too and so he's staying back so we wanted to celebrate early so that was so sweet something about me is i love a dinner date especially a surprise dinner date just getting dressed up i mean not knowing till the day of i think is really fun and that is something that we have both enjoyed for so long since we first started dating in new york city was just trying new restaurants and i can't can't wait so it's gonna be a lot of fun if we have a name picked out for baby boy right now we do have one name yeah it's felt like the perfect amount of time I just always felt a little bit guilty about and I such full years over the last few years of it being the two of us finished my video and now headed into our guest room because I'm gonna go ahead and wash the sheets we have a couple of friends that are staying with us this weekend I love how cash has just decided that he is welcomed on this bed they're actually touring apartments because they're gonna move here which is really exciting but I need to wash the sheets on here from Mr. Cash and then also wash the towels in here and then the little bath mat in here As you just saw i just banged my knee on the bed frame and something i'm trying to do is kind of work through when i experience pain to prepare for labor i've heard that this is helpful to do just to kind of reframe your mind and breathe through the pain <laughs> but that really hurt i just totally smacked my knee against the bed frame i'm gonna head out to run some errands i am trying to get some flowers to plant outside because when my mother-in-law was in town we planted a few different sets of flowers and the ones in the backyard are not faring super well 
well. They're not dead, they're just not really flowering anymore. But I have some lantanas in the front and they're doing really well. I think that they just thrive in the Texas heat and sun. So I'm gonna go see what I can find at the garden center. And then I also wanna stop and get a little smoothie for an afternoon treat because it is hot. And ever since I discovered that we have juice land in Dallas, I thought it was just an Austin thing. We've been going all the time because their smoothies are so good. Time to get out of this house. Let's find some flowers. I ended up getting the rehydrator. This one has watermelon, raspberry, mango, peach, beet, coconut oil, mint, lime, and sea salt. And I will say, all those sounded great, but the beets I kind of looked past. Definitely has a strong beet flavor. It's not bad. I probably wouldn't get it again, but it's a nice, a nice switch up today. <laughs> And came home with these beautiful flowers for a little early birthday present. We were wanting to put flowers underneath this print right here and I think that they look really, really good right there. I also can't get over these right here because these are actually sent to me from a brand and they sat outside for two days because we weren't home in the heat and they've lasted a week since and they're definitely wilting a little bit but they are so beautiful. I have no idea. I think they're fresh scents actually but they have just been so lovely too. I love having flowers everywhere. But I am now gonna go plant my flowers. It's six o'clock right now, so it's not as hot. I'm gonna do that before I get ready for our little dinner date tonight, but I don't think it's gonna take me very long, so I'm just gonna change out of this. I'm also ready to not have these tight pants on. I really wanna put on my maternity shorts and just do some planting. Just got ready for dinner. I did the flowers outside and then also walked cash and it is hot. So I feel like I'm still cooling down right now. This dress is one that I've had for such a long time. And I remember when I bought it, I thought that this would be such a good maternity dress because it's just so tight. It really does accentuate the bump. I think it's really cute. It is really tight though. I probably couldn't wear this longer than a few hours for dinner, but I just threw this on and then my hair was kind of a sweaty mess. So threw it back in a braid. Last night's dinner was so much fun. I am finishing up editing this video and realized that I forgot to say goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys wanna check out Fit Right Fresh Start, I will have that link down below. You can get 20% off there. But you guys mean so much to me. Of course, you know that, but I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.